Hey everyone, welcome back. So in last video we have seen how we can configure this custom download folder. So where we have configured in our configuration file capabilities section, right? For this browser. So I'll move it a little bit. Yeah. So this is what we have done, the setup where we, we told that to download default directory to configure here in our project folder, current working directory under downloads file. And if there is no folder available here, it will automatically create. And we were able to see that. Today we are going to see that whatever we download the file here. So as once you click right, it downloads the file in download folder. It will validate the extension of the file. So let's see how we can do it. Now just to save a bit of time, uh, I wrote this step. Then I validated downloaded file extension. And in that, in step definition, I have just kept all possible this file extensions in a list right in extensions list now because this is very dynamic in last video it was some uh, another file and today you see there 28 GP, uh, jpg is there right? it, it might be chances are there it will be keep on changing so i have just noted all the possible extensions available here and i have kept that in list and will validate it accordingly so let's see how we can do it so first thing uh, we need to see is that we need to read the directory where we are uh, you know downloading our file and then we can store everything in that file so i'll say const files okay now first you to read any files or working with any directory you need to import fs that is a file system from fs right and then you have to say fs dot read file sync sorry read di directory sync so it will read directory and you need to pass the path in this directory now okay so again the same way what we have done in configuration file here path dot join and then this path we'll see so we need to pass it the same path here because we are going to read from the same path now path is not imported so let me import it import path from single or double quote path right now it will give me list of a string that means all the files available in that particular folder it will give me now you see that this directory we are duplicating because we are, we are writing here and we are writing here as well so instead of keep on writing in everywhere the same folder uh, we, we better it maintain in our constant file so we have already created in previous videos constant folder and we are keeping all constant related now we have only one path constant is there we are doing maintain our path so let me just move it out from here rather than you know duplicating in multiple places we'll keep it in one place right so we already had the resources folder path now before that let's import fs because we need fs sorry path we need not fs from in single or double quote path let me give an enter and here i'll paste it and here i'll say export const and let's say here download folder path in a capital letter right so now this will be our constant folder path now first of i think what thing i'll do is i'll modify our configuration now let's keep it everywhere the same instead of keeping here and any other places let's so let's cut now remove it i have copied so i'll paste it now it is not imported so it will give you error so i'll say press control space it will give you suggestion here right so just click on it and now if i scroll up here you will have this import already shown now this might fail because it is somehow for some reason in this configuration file if you start your import from dot src sorry src it will not work so you say dot slash and then it will be fine so just make sure that you are giving dot slash as well in configuration file only for other places it works normally with just automatic import so right now we have kept here download folder path here and the same thing in our con this file as well so instead of now again passing this complete name again i'll just remove it paste and it is not imported so control space and select this one it will be automatically imported here and see error is gone now so that now if in future your uh, you know folder directly changes you just, just have to come here and update your folder path and in order to duplicate again the same code right so now this will hold the list of string that means all the files available in that particular folder but we want to just validate not the file but the extension of it 
So if you want to get extension of any file, you need to first you need to use this part and there is something in from the node.js and you there is something called ext name dot ext name if you see here right it provides the ext name and if you read the here return the extension of path from the last dot to that means whatever we have in the file name with last dot to it will provide the extension so you can say ext name and you need to pass the file name there now here we don't have file name we have the list of a string so suppose whenever you download file right as of now i'll just show like this okay first element of that list because it it this read sync returns you multiple list of a string okay if you see here return type is list of a string when you do this right and you tell so whatever is in the list for example i'll say extensions here or if i'll say zeroth element of that particular list the first fold first file of that list will give the extension so this is how we read extension but let's not now what we'll do because this files will give you the list of a string let's loop through it and then we'll validate our data so while we can use for for each loop so we'll say files that is this files as it is giving list of a string we can loop through it so files and in for each you have to say now in again quote here and in that you need to give input parameter or each so i'll say here file and then arrow function and inside that you can look through it now this is nothing but you can give any variable name now this is this holds the each element inside the list so if there is a 10 uh, item in this list it will every time it will iterate and this will hold the each item of that list okay now if it's a single input parameter you don't need to give this quote as well so you can remove it now this will hold the one single file in this list okay and we need to validate the list item from you know for e each file we need to validate the extension right so what we'll say now we let's validate it expect okay now what we'll say because we we can have it's not necessarily we'll always get this jpg extension tomorrow it might get some other extension right that is why i have created the list of extension possible extension here and i'll say expect this extension to contain and then file now this file will not give me the extension name we have to say path dot ext name and inside say we say file yeah now let me explain this this will return you the list of um, files available in that particular folder if it is only one it will be again it will be a list of a string only so if it's one or ten now we are looping through each files and which will hold which will be stored in file we can say abc as well but let's say for meaningful name we'll say file and this file will hold the file name not the extension name file name now what we are saying expect that this extension that means this array contains to contain in this file right that means we are saying that retrieve the extension from each of the file and validate whether this that exists in this list or not if something is not there then it will fail right now it will it will keep on asserting for all the values all the files that you have it, probably because we are downloading as of now only one it will validate only one but if there is a 10 file it can validate all 10 also now one more thing i just want to hear uh, improve a bit here code because see we don't want to keep on downloading files every time and keep on you know storing in our local folder here right in the download folder so what we can do after the execution we will delete it see on the fly when we are running right it is creating the download folder that we have seen in the previous video and then it is storing the file now once my execution is done i don't want to keep the folder i want to delete it so that i will not have lot of unwanted downloaded files if you want to keep the file then you don't write the further steps but if you want to your validation is done and you don't want to use for further anything then write this step that i'm going to show you you can delete it in my case or in our case here i want to delete the folder after this execution happens because i'm valid my job is here or my requirement is just to read the extent validate the extension of the file and then that's it done there is no no further use of those files so i'll just delete it so what you can do first we need to validate whether the files or folder exist or not so we can say if fs dot okay 
read directory in sync mode sorry fs dot exist we need to say fs dot exist sync and we need to provide the file here folder path which we already have in this constant right so i'll say if this exists then delete it now how will we can delete it fs dot rm dir and in sync mode so it will delete the folder itself now because and they need to pass the path again here so what we are saying that if this folder exists delete it now because when you are executing you will have some files so it if there is there are some files it will not delete it automatically if you just say this so you need to say in curly bracket recursive equal to true so it will recursively delete everything even there is a file then it will not ignore if you don't give this and if your folder is having some data then it will throw an error that it's not empty the for path folder is not empty but i want to forcefully delete it even there's a file then you need to say recursive is equal to true so first it will read the directory store all the files here then looping through the files and with each item here saying that each item of extension of that item is present in this list that is the validation and the next line what we will do if the directory exists delete it right so that will not have any uh, unwanted files or folder after the execution so let's just try to run and see how it is working yeah so this is the file and now let me run it and what i'll do while execution i'll minimize because i want to show you that it creates the download folder on the fly it and it keeps the data and then it deletes as well after the execution which we have done here so let's just check it you just need to keep eye on it here so as soon as the browser opens i'll minimize it it's trying to load the url so i'll just minimize it here so that we can see the execution let's wait here steps to be completed yeah download folder is created if you see and it is trying to download so it will wait for a while until it downloads complete and it will remove us as well okay now you see it is removed as well and step is passed yeah it was a bit a refresh issue but you see right the download folder was there and then it deleted and steps are passed as well here you see all the steps is passed correct now if you just want to make sure okay this validation is happening correctly exactly or not or it's just that uh, something is wrong what i'll do uh, i will just create one download for folder here and we'll keep some unwanted file which is not this extension so let me just manually create the download folder not here inside I'll create in a root project folder download the downloads right the downloads yeah so keeping downloads and I'll just create manually one file okay test dot random anything so this this file does is this extension is not part of our list correct so because this is not part of our list it will try to validate it it will try to go through all the download fold all the files inside download and if something is wrong some some files extension is not expected it should fail that's what we are expecting right so let's do that another thing what we can modify here a bit right because we see that it was download was working i want to move this create this as a utility rather than keeping it here because what it is doing it is just deleting the folder okay so we can make it reusable we might need to use any for any other purpose so i've just control x cut it i'll go to utils folder file utils we already have here inside that we'll create one util that is export const and we'll say delete directory okay which will expect a path as an input parameter and then arrow function and we'll keep it here now this directory will not pass from here it will be a always common one so i'll just whatever path we pass based on that it will delete it correct now what we'll do we'll just copy this and we'll call this in our test case so that we'll we'll have a utility always to delete the directory and whenever we want we can just call it right so this is not very much related test we can keep it as a reusable function now let's go to our 
actual step and we can just call that function so it was delete directory control space it will auto suggest you select that inside that calling function we need to pass it folder path right? looks much cleaner now correct so now this time it will delete the directory again it will not delete it sir because now when we this will be executing it will find in downloads folder here one more random file okay some random which we are not expecting so the test will fail here itself it will download the file whatever we intend that is the first file from the website but it will have one more this unexpected file so while doing a session it should fail in this step and if it is failing that means our test is working correctly because we just wanted to you know check the negative condition if something goes wrong it is catching it or not right so let's re-execute it yeah it it is downloading the file now file downloaded but execution will fail let's see what happened yep as expected there's a failure here let's just expand and see it should say the assertion failure because of this random yeah there was error yeah see expected value some random because that is what was coming here but we don't have that in the list correct so if you have some unwanted files download because just i wanted to show you i have created one manually here but suppose you have in your website some unwanted extension which you don't expect and if it downloads obviously it will catch here and it will throw you an error right so yeah uh, that's it for this video thank you so much